Okay, in this video, we're gonna install git bash, which is just a little terminal for Windows. Now, Windows comes with a couple of terminals. They come, it comes with the PowerShell, and it comes with the command prompt, CMD prompt. And those things kind of work, but not very well. And we're gonna be using git for version control and to push our code up to Heroku. So we need a terminal that works well with git, and those two terminals do not. So uh, on Windows, we're gonna use something called this git scm and it's just a free little utility and it's really really cool and uh, it'll do everything we need so if you're on a Mac or Linux you don't need to do this you've already got a terminal you can use I just go up to the little search thing on your computer and type in terminal and it'll come up so everybody else head over here to git scmcom and then down here on this download link there you can see they're on version 2.18.0 if that's a different version by the time you watch this no big deal just go ahead and download the latest version so download is starting and save this anywhere doesn't matter and it's not very big 39 megabytes but for some reason it is absolutely creeping um, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and we'll pick it up as soon as it finishes downloading okay so it's finished downloading so we can go ahead and click it and we want to run this file. Drag this over. So go ahead and click next. And it's going to install in program files slash git. That's fine. And we'll take all the defaults here. And there. Now here's something kind of weird. It asks you what text editor you want to use. Now if you have notepad plus plus, go ahead and click this. Otherwise just ignore this because we're not going to use git at all with a text editor so I'm not sure what that's all about so you could just ignore that and click next now here's the important one we want this very last one use git and optional Unix tools from the Windows command prompt and so it'll add both of these things to the Windows path just like in the last video with Python we want to add this to the path very important so go ahead and make sure this one's clicked click next open SSH we need that yes open SSL we need that yes um doesn't really matter which one of these gets checked so we'll just leave that we need this min tty thing so keep that and these are okay the way they are doesn't really matter so we can just leave them the way they are and click install so this is going to run through here and install it doesn't take very long so we'll just go ahead and wait for it to do its thing okay so we don't need to view the release notes and uh, we can go ahead and click this if you want, but I'll just leave it like this and we'll open this again in the next video. So I'll show you how to open it and stuff in case you need to do that. So click finish and we're done. So in the next video, we'll take a look at this thing that we just installed and we'll talk about SSH keys very quickly and move on from there.